Okay, I wanted to uh, <laughs> do this follow-up video because um, I'm sure you noticed that there was some flaming in the drums when I was playing them back. Uh, there's this weird doubling effect when I listen back in my headphones while I'm making these videos and um, <laughs> it turns out it was user error. Um, one of the overheads is flaming with everything else and that's because lo and behold it was never stuck in time mode. So if we stick that in time mode, it should fix everything. Come on, play. And it does. It was flaming real bad. <laughs> Just kind of a funny note. Make sure that you uh, check your work when doing this. You need to see this little uh, music mode. Or musical mode stamp at the end of your audio when you do this. Now I'm still not entirely sure what the heck happened down here in the guitars because uh, it still sounds weird. Um, I'll, I'll play it back. I'm not. In, I mean, these kind of look like they match each other, so I'm not entirely sure um, if these match within themselves. Kinda. There's kind of some goofiness in there. I'm not. I don't know if it's me or if it's if it's that, but. Yeah. Yeah. No. I I, I think that this stretch didn't exactly work so great on guitars, and it doesn't always work so great on guitars. Um. Cubase stretch is based on the information it's given and distorted guitars are kind of one fat sausage so um, like I said in the last video realistically I would only do this to smooth out the drums and then I'd retrack everything to them um, just kind of personal opinion on that so that's how you do it that's that's everything uh, sorry about the weird drum thing it did work I just uh, apparently forgot to put this in musical mode so that'll conclude the tutorial and uh, thanks for watching